Do you guys know that my setup has changed so much in the last two weeks alone as I made a bunch of different videos involving it? And what better way to showcase this change than a setup tour? I haven't made a full setup tour in a long, long time. So it's a perfect opportunity to do that. Like, comment, subscribe. Let's get right into it. All right, so from a distance, this is what my setup is looking like in general. I'm gonna move my chair off to the side because it's kind of in the way. But starting off, I got an MSI CH120 chair. I love this chair. It's amazing. It adjusts all that stuff. I've been using it for like the last two and a half years. But this is actually the setup itself. We can see we got the main setup there and then we got the Mac productivity setup there. Starting off, I'm gonna actually focus on the Mac setup. I just actually made this in a video on the channel recently. If you wanna check this out, how I built it, go check that out. But on the side desk here, I have a Ikea 48 by 24, I wanna say something like that. It's just a basic Ikea Linman. And then there I got the bigger version of it. It's like same thing, but just, but just longer and deeper. But right here for the setup itself, I got my M1 2020 MacBook Air. It's great, I love it. I use it for all my editing and stuff like that for TikToks. I got it on this random uh, design desk. By the way, I'll have everything in the description in this video for you guys to check out. Behind it, I have my subscribe to Joshi Lightbox right there. And then the monitor right here is a random Acer 75 Hertz. And uh, like I said, if you guys want to see this more in depth, go check out that video. It'll be in the description. Okay, 61 RGB keyboard, like you guys can see right there. And I really like that keyboard. I've had this one for the longest time out of all my keyboards. And connecting the Mac to my other display is a Silkland uh, USB type C to display port cable. It goes around to the monitor and that's that. Now the main setup itself, I know cable management is messy. I got a setup revamp coming very, very soon. And trust me when I say this, cable management's going to be the first thing that gets acknowledged in that setup. So the setup itself is powered by this insane beast of a PC that Stoneforge had actually put together. Custom Joshi PC with the custom Stoneforge branding like you guys can see. It looks amazing. I love it so much. If you guys want to check out that review, go check that out at the top of the description. And this thing is insane. It has like an RTX 4090, Intel i7 13700K, 32 gigabytes of RAM and so much RGB. Let me quickly open it up for you guys just so you can see. So the case opens up literally just like this and inside this thing looks absolutely crazy. Like the amount of RGB in it is insane. We got RGB fans at the front uh, too. That's pretty much that. I use that for all of my content, my editing, that kind of stuff for my main channel stuff. And then at the top, I actually have this USB type C hub plugged in. I actually take the card from my camera and I plug it into here. And that is how I download all my footage from like my setup videos, all that stuff that I use the camera I'm using right now. So after this video, I'm gonna take the SD card, put it in the slot there. And that just allows me to easily transfer the files from my camera to my PC directly. Now I'm gonna go behind the PC for sec. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I got a Behringer UMC 22, I believe. It's the audio interface that I use for my microphone. So I actually just have a wire connecting to that. And then that connects to my computer that allows me to control like the dial, it gives it power, all that kind of stuff. And then I have a little cable box right there to hide some cables. I made an attempt to before, but honestly, like I kind of gave up. Now coming to my displays, I have a dual monitor set up, hoping to upgrade to triple. I kind of want to get another one up there and then I would move that one up. So then it would kind of be like one, two, three, if that makes sense. But my main monitor is a Samsung 27 inch, I believe, 240 hertz. That's my main one. I use that for all my gaming, my main screen display and all that. And my other one is a 144 hertz uh, MSI. I don't know if you can see the model right there. Optics Mag 27C. And you can see that I have it vertically mounted there. Now coming to my desk, the peripherals I have. The RK84 here, limited edition uh, from Royal Pludge. Let me quickly flip that over so you guys can see. Right there, RK84. And honestly, I'm a big fan. I like kind of the cappuccino looking keycaps here. The Model O is the mouse I use for this as well. Super light. I actually left my other mouse in LA, but I'm going to LA literally in a day and a half. So I'll be able to get my MSI GM41 back. My headset is a super beat up like HyperX Cloud 2. I've had that literally since I, before I started YouTube. The mouse pad that we're rocking is a custom Joshi. We can see the J logo is pretty present throughout my entire setup, but it's a custom Joshi like Japanese cherry blossom type mouse pad from our gamer. I'll have his website in the description if you want to check that out. But yeah, we actually have that and then for our mic we're rocking the road pod mic i've had this one for a very long time i love it super budget and it sounds great and then like i said before i got the monitor mount back here and then i got this nexio webcam just for like discord and stuff now for my secondary camera that i use for my tiktok stuff i have it on desk mount that's clamped right there the canon rebel t7 i use this for the longest time for all my videos until i got the camera i'm using right now ring light's gonna blind me let me quickly turn it off but let me just quickly show you guys this here so this is my secondary tripod you can see that i have it tilted 
tilted sideways. I'll quickly throw up a cinematic on the screen of what it looks like when I have the camera that I'm using right now on this mount. I use the camera that I'm using right now to record this video to film vertical TikToks. Like I'm gonna pop one up on the screen just so you guys can get an idea of what it looks like. But it's honestly a really good setup for my technology type of videos because I feel like it really kind of fits the vibe. But anyways, that's that. Now coming down here, dude, I don't even wanna talk about this or what's going on here. I got some random Lego boxes, cables. I really have to figure this out and uh, yeah, so that's kind of disgusting and disappointing. Coming down over here, you guys can see I got an RGB floodlight on the ground. I've advocated for these so much in the last little bit. They are from Amazon. They're great. They're amazing. I love them so much. You can buy two pack of them for literally like 30 bucks and they really improve the ambient lighting in your setup. Now coming to the cable box down here, so many wires down in here. Literally for I don't even know what. I got my PC plugged in there. I got the lights plugged in there. I have a Philips Hue thing set up in there for when I attach my light bars again. And you guys can also see that I got a RGB strip going along the bottom of the desk there for additional ambient light. Now the way that I get my Wi-Fi, a lot of people have asked me because they've been wondering what this is, but it's actually called a power line adapter. So what this does, I'll quickly throw up a stupid diagram on the screen, but I have one of these upstairs right beside my modem and it's hardwired to the modem itself. And then I have another one of these plugged down here and this wire runs from there to my computer. So they connect and transfer the internet signal through like electricity, which is like kind of a weird concept, but it works and I'm not complaining. So that's pretty much how that works. Under here, I have a cable management rack. I don't know if you guys saw that before. I haven't really been using it, but I will be using it soon. Can't tell you how long I've been saying that, but trust me, I will soon. Now also, random stuff. Like I said, I am traveling, so I'm kind of figuring out my setup and what I want to bring because I have to bring some stuff to record some content down there because I'm doing some business stuff. I got so many different things here, dude. I got water bottles, I got old packaging, I got an Amazon thing for a review down in there. And then also, I forgot about this. I actually have something super cool. I have like this built-in um, wireless charger on my desk. And all I have to do is I can literally just put my phone down and it charges, it's amazing, I love it. And that just looks like that underneath. And I am a big fan of it. I also missed a couple things back here. I got like a Funko Pop for Fortnite. Got my custom hex gaming controller right here. And then I have a basic PS5 controller. And I also have this one from AIM Controllers. And I really like it. He's got the paddles and all that. I'm not a controller player, but if I was, I'd be fully kitted out and lucky. So this is what everything looks like as a whole. Not too shabby for three years into YouTube. Obviously it's still a work in progress. I'm gonna be upgrading this soon probably gonna get a bigger desk that goes all the way over to there. Figure out those cables, probably get a second bigger power bar, and then I'm gonna hide that one, run the cables, probably get a third monitor. We're gonna do like a wood theme, probably with white, and then have the PC be black with maybe some decorations on the wall. If you guys have any suggestions whatsoever what to put on this wall, I'm always open to hearing it because I really need good ideas. I had foam panels before, like you guys can see. I had them all the way over there, but I didn't really like the look of them. I just kind of look like how it looks on that wall by itself. I hope you guys did enjoy this like scuffed setup tour because I mean, there's so many things that are wrong with my setup and I like to kind of show my setup when it's not at its best and be authentic to you guys to show you, you know, like, not all of us YouTubers have picture perfect setups all year round. So I'm gonna get working on this sometime soon, probably in the next month and a half, two months ideally. That'll look like getting another desk, like I said, for everything, probably getting rid of my side desk, gonna upgrade my peripherals, probably make sure the theme is consistent all throughout, probably upgrade my peripherals, get some extra like upgrades and accessories to make sure the theme is all consistent and throw it in aesthetic. But yeah, I hope you guys are a fan of what I've done with the setup. I think that I've done a pretty good job at making it look at least semi-decent. Everything is down below in the description of my Amazon storefront. I also have links for the other stuff as well around there. So literally just go down to the description. You'll find what you're looking for. But if you guys did enjoy, like, comment, subscribe. It means a lot. It helps me out. And I will see you guys in another video on the channel soon. If you guys want to watch another video like this one, make sure to go watch this one here. I hope you guys did enjoy and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.